Hey everyone, welcome back to Lisbon McDIY. In today's video, we are doing Dollar Tree bathroom accessories. Last year around this time, I posted a Dollar Tree bathroom accessories video and it's probably one of my most popular Dollar Tree videos. I will link it down in the description box if you're interested in watching that. I just used a lot of gold in that video. So I wanted to update it and do something a little bit different. So in this video, I'm gonna be using white and more farmhouse type accessories for your bathroom. This first item I found at Dollar Tree really inspired this whole uh, bathroom video for me. I found these really large glass containers and they had them in clear. They also came in a variety of colors. I think there was a gray and a blue and so many different varieties, but I picked up three and I thought for a dollar and the size of these, this was a great deal. I also picked up one glass candle holder. So I was thinking these would be perfect for combs, makeup brushes, and just different larger items that you have in your bathroom. So I wanted to paint the bottom of them. So I came in with some painter's tape and I wrapped it around uh, about midway or a third of the way up on my containers. And then I repeated that with the other two containers, making sure that they were about the same height on every container. Next, I came in with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Now, based on the raised pattern on these, they were perfect for not needing any distressing. So I just lightly brushed across these and then I had peeking through that clear underneath and it already looked distressed and just the look I was looking for. I also painted the candle holder with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Next, I'm going to remove the painter's tape. Next, I'm just going to use some white ribbon that I had on hand, and I'm gonna hot glue it around the top of my containers. Next, I'm going to E6000 one of the jars on top of the candle holder. I think these containers look adorable in a vignette sitting out on your vanity. You can put in your makeup brushes, your combs, anything that you want. Next, I wanted to show you how to make a tray and some containers for your vanity. So for my tray, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree canvas that has about a one inch side and is open on the back. And I'm also going to be using two little small containers that I got in the glassware aisle. So I'm going to paint the inside of my tray with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. also going to paint the lids of the jars with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. I picked up some marble contact paper on Amazon. I'll link below to the one that I'm using in this video. And I wanted to wrap it around the edge of my tray. So to do that, I just put the picture frame on its side. I just used my pen to trace the side of my picture frame. From there, I just cut those pieces out. Next, I'm going to wrap the marble around the sides of my picture frame until I have the whole thing covered. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of gold to the lid of my containers, so I'm just gonna lightly wipe that onto my containers. This is total preference. And then once that had a chance to dry, I came back in and I wet distressed the lids, just kind of pulling out the paint because I wanted these to be nice and farmhouse. And I thought these would look adorable sitting out on your tray with some cotton pads or Q-tips in them. Mm -hmm. 
This next project is super simple. I wanted to create a fun accessories tray. I always like some sort of tray sitting out either in my closet or my bathroom that I can just throw my earrings and my jewelry on and it's just easy and I can see things sitting out but yet it's not just sitting out everywhere. So for this little accessories tray, what you're going to need are two of the marble plates that they sell at Dollar Tree. I got a mini plate and a larger plate. And I also picked up this adorable little iridescent glass container. This was in the vase aisle at Dollar Tree. And all you're going to do is just E6000 the glass container to the big plate. Then you're gonna add in some E6000 to the top of your glass container and put your smaller plate in the center of your tray. Let this have about 24 hours to dry before you put anything on top of it, but I think this is so easy and simple, a $3 tray. The next thing for me, and I love having a little lipstick container that sits out on my vanity with all of my favorite lipsticks in it. So I picked up this jar with a screw top lid in the glass and plate section. It has a silver lid to it, but I'm just going to do two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. I wanted to create a little faux handle to this. I'm not going to use this to open it, but I thought it was cute. So it's just one of those little wood pieces that they sell at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use some E6000 to attach it to my container. And I'm just going to fill this with my lipsticks, and it'll be perfect sitting out on my vanity. And here's a look at all of my projects for the bathroom. I hope you guys got some great ideas and realized that you don't have to spend a lot of money to accessorize your bathroom. Let me know in the comments below which of these projects you plan on incorporating into your space. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you're subscribed. I post three DIYs each week. And if you missed our last DIY, I'm gonna link it here so you guys can watch that next. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.